Okay, audio is fixed now. So audio is also my audio settings are all over the place. Uh, basically everything crashed. Um, everything crashed. Uh, Elgato, like the, the streaming, uh, El, what is it, Elgato HD Live Gaming or whatever. Um, that green screen, that entire uh, tab green screen. Um, the the preview of my. Uh, my stream green screen for me, and then it went to offline, and then everything was unresponsive, so I had to force restart my computer. But we're back now, um, so hopefully it doesn't do that again. Just boy, oh boy, was that fun! Uh, so yeah, this is game one of Losers Finals. Um, Squire did end up beating Duel. Uh, if you were watching before, um, that was a close-ish set. Uh, pretty good set. Um, but, uh, yeah, now we're into game one of Losers Finals. And, uh, Squire DK from Big Losing. So, going into game two here. Um, yeah, game two is going to be coming up. I don't think we'll see any character switches. As far as not feeling Dark Samus today, I don't think Candy's going to switch off of the Sonic. Charizard emoji. So, uh, yeah. One, We're in it. So, we do have Nadia waiting uh, for the winner of this in Grand Finals. Uh, pretty cool guys, ices are good, but uh. Candy Chicken in a lot more control this game. Um, ooh, smart recovery with the homing attack. Yeah, if Candy Chicken can close this stock out first, um, then he's gonna have a lot of a lot of control in the dictating the pace of the game, and that's it off the back door, too. Um, we should do a lot better job of dictating the pace of this game. Uh, we can play a little bit more defensive. Um, 
Which I think is all the more important. Three and three spider make them six. Oh, almost six fixed that up. Ooh, but flash one, yep, smash one. No big lead for candy chicken. Uh after that. Oh, we suck the In fact, no lead at all. So this game's pretty even. A couple jabs here and there for Squire, but that's about it. Squire looking for the tech in with that down smash. We saw him hit uh, a wall with those tech just down smashes quite a bit earlier. Um, I think she can just need to pass the down. That might have smi spiked and might have been strong enough to kill him. I don't think so, but we're going to be mashing the up the other bit. Alright, air dodge is past ledge, but it's fine. Let me get just a neutral air dodge, so he's uh, good. Alright, so uh, that'll be should good. Now, uh, Squire's gonna get stick in the face going into the last part here. But, uh, no back here there for Kenny Chicken. Squire, you're gonna just pass it and, uh, very fortunate. Ooh, Fox went for his match. And, uh, Kenny Chicken brings Squire down to his last stock here. He's got a chance. Not a huge lead for Squire. So chicken should be able to even end up with two neutral interactions. Big dong? Ooh, no. Someone went wonky there. Got stuck on a platform or something. Oh yeah, he didn't. Uh, he ended up uh, sliding on the edge of the platform. Sorry, he didn't go. Might have been in percent range for two. Ooh, the pivot grab into the back row. Squire takes game two. I believe he's up 2-0 right now. He is up 2-0. Back to Battlefield for Game 3 here, Squire up 2 -0. Start for Squire, but I think she can bring it back now. Ooh. She reacts to the tech in place. Jab. I think he was looking to potentially get jab blocked on Squires, so that's why he was watching some of the tech chase. Ooh. Reads low, Squire goes high. And, uh, Candy falls off the back here. Pulls up free stalking. I want to see him. I want to see him keep up the level of aggression in his first I know he likes playing defensively and that the stock lead lets him do that. But I want to see him try and keep the pedal to the metal. Because he's not going to hold that stock lead. He's already at 105 and there it goes. Only 8%. But I want to see him hold that aggression that he had out of the gate. Because uh, what we've seen is we've seen him try to play more defensive. Lose that stock and then he's got 0% extra credit on the board. So, um... 
Unless you've got like a really big lead, you're not gonna time out from five minutes without them catching you. Unless they're just letting themselves get timed out. And I think that uh, Squire's watching for um, some of the well, some of the more defensive tendencies out of Counter Um So when he does go in uh, with a lot of things, ooh, Squire's loading. Uh, when Ken Jigen does go in, Squire's not really prepared for that. He's prepared for the, uh, you know, the standard Wi-Fi Sonic. Yeah, I'm tilting the floor there. Eh? Ooh, Squire gets the ledge there. Oh, this is the air dodge angle. Tried to air dodge up the ledge, got straight horizontal. A little bit down, even. Go down. Yeah. Can you chicken? Keep up. Even though you had the stock lead, kept up the aggression. Punish your. Ooh! That was clean! That's what the, the up air bounced off the string. And goes for the offstage home attack. Oh, we went for the down air. Got it up, but he went for it. That's the count. Squire closes out with the forward tilt, but Kenji getting in a really good position now to take a take a game in this set. I'm able to confirm much off at this point. 44 on candy. 50. Ooh. Squire hits the tech and air dodges. Great defense play from Squire. But that back there. Yeah, not much you can do about that one. Um, especially because he's in the in life in the floor there. Uh, I wasn't able to throw the upbeat contest. We're gonna be going into game four here. Squire is up 2 1. Ready? Sticking with the same characters. So, I'm just kind of watching the series game for Um, I'm trying to decide to start I like that. This is a pretty even game. Just because GK has got a little bit more kill power. But, uh, I'd be on one back here and I'll be doing for Square. This is 
talk. Oh, great match from Penny Chicken. And that forward smash, I don't think that so forward. Penny Chicken got the stock with the aggression up is the is the and yet he's going in with the nares and stuff. So I could have walked off a little bit with that. Potentially closed it out, but finds a spin dash. Yeah, I think he's sort of going back to a little bit more of that defensive play. He does have a little bit bigger of a lead than he normally does though, so that's the important part. Squire's trying to just catch him to close the stock out. Now that he's got percent on him, uh, being a lot more evasive and waiting for Squire to sort of put himself out of position. And also using Sonic's burst speed to kind of just catch Squire out there. Um, yeah, like right there, Squire's just running and can't you can just with the runoff deck. Let's get grabbed in the back there. <laughs> Squire's taunted. Oh man. I don't know if he's under his skin or what, but uh. Yeah. Ooh. It's with the spring. Oh, it doesn't get off stage for the second spring. Hmm. So yeah, can you shake now got him at 155. And that back there will do it. <laughs> Taunts him back. Got a little bit of a little taunt battle going on. Squire, let just get out of that combo. I even look for a spike there, but Squire does not. Ooh, Glenn's going well in the back there. I'm not quite hit with some sparks. Ooh. Squire waited for the spot dodge, but can you can have the buttons out faster. Squire. See how defense he put. Did not play very defensive that time. Air dodge right into a forward smash. So it's 2 2. Can you be on the verge of the reverse 3 0? We're going into game five now. Squire does switch to the Dark Samus. Um, so yeah, first he, he started the night with Dark Samus and said he wasn't feeling it and switched to the DK, but Kanishigan might be in his head a little bit. But I think he's going to be content playing very patient in this matchup. Trying to watch Squire's uh, Dark Samus, you want to see that. Um, you really don't want to see him approaching. That was his big problem earlier in the night. Is he's playing it really, really aggressive um, compared to you know how he normally plays and how you typically want to play Dark Samus. Dark Samus. 
Um, you don't super want to be the aggressor. Uh, you want to let them sort of run into your volley of projectiles and zares and all that stuff. And uh, space fares and theirs. And uh... Just uh... Just kind of hope that they um... Just run into things. You don't super want to be rushing in like willy nilly and your close out kills and stuff. Um, you don't, Sam is like a box as well, but you can catch on the Nair there. Um, so yeah, in the first two games that Squire won, uh, he was the one who took the first stock. And uh, the two that Candy took the one, he took the first stock. So, but even games so far. Through the first stock. It's right up to you by Square. Pitch is candy trying to go back for the second crossing. And down to Pitch is spin dash. Square is playing around Candy Chicken's approaches really well. Um, really elusive and uh, getting a lot of counter hits. Um, see the bomb there, just prevents him from dashing in. So, uh, yeah, and finds a grab there on an on overcommit from Candy Chicken. Shields a homing attack. Ooh, Samus is a slow grab there, bites him. Uh, he saw it start up, read the spot dodge, but the, uh, Sonic's down tilt just fast enough to get out of the action. And, uh, yeah, whoever takes this, this stock first is going to be in a really good position to take this set. Um, of course, with this being game five, I mean, this game does take the set, so. Ooh, grabs him out of the, uh, the spin dash. Hmm. That dash attack does close it out, though. Back there kills. No. Sonic's back there not kill anymore. <gasps> he whiffed the homie attack, that's it. No, you can hear dodge dodge. That was scary. I thought that was it for Candy Chicken. Usually whiffing the home attack homie attack off stage is uh almost a death sentence. Ooh. Squire dumps Susan. Alright, that's it. Guard takes it, 3-2, uh, 